talk a little bit about common mistakes I've seen in software testing. Let's start off with testability. I've seen a lot of people not even think about it. They're only focusing on what to test. They don't even think about how. I've got a video that introduces you to the topic, but if you are wanting to what you like your system currently supports, then I strongly recommend you think about testability. So the idea of testing at least um, from what I've seen with a lot of people and my earlier experience in my career is that you wait quite a while to be able to test something. Uh, you wait until something is almost complete and then you're trying to give feedback on something fairly down the line. This can be problematic because by then it's a lot more costly to address. Thinking about testability is one way to address this, but also specifically thinking about what do we see as testable, what what can be tested. Change your thinking around that. Um, it doesn't have to be a, a full feature. You could test part of a feature. If you speak to example, if you speak to a developer and ask, could I get access to to the build? Could I have a wee nosy little peek? Um, a little sneak peek at the at the PR. And if you tell me what's in scope that I could give feedback on, maybe I could save you some work and give you some input on it and save you some time or prevent some issues. Would be fantastic. Another common mistake I've seen is regarding uh, integration ownership. If you have if you have this like massive system and then different teams own different parts of the system, then it's it can be very clear that in this area, this team owns it. And then, yeah, they maybe transmit information to another part of the system and then another team owns it. And maybe you have like some sort of integration team that owns everything or owns parts of it or the integration. But I do find that there's a lot of interesting gaps on how information is transmitted and the rules agree to it. Or when, when one team changes their implementation, who is supposed to, who owns testing uh, to make sure that the compatibility or the integration with the other areas are, are still all good. That's, that's uh, another thing I, when, I, when I'm on a new project, I, I tend to keep a, a close eye on. The fourth mistake I have seen often regarding testing is all, only thinking about testing against the requirements. For me, testing against the requirements is, is just a start. People like to think they can predict everything about exactly what needs to be met for for good enough to be defined for for go live information will come up that will be useful that isn't strictly being um like addressed in their requirements i would see the requirements as a starting point and then even then requirements don't always get updated and lastly thinking that you have to automate or more so thinking that you have to automate everything and or that more is better I believe in automating where it makes sense. There are certain scenarios or certain situations where it wouldn't make sense to automate. So let's say there's an area of the system that you've like just joined a project and they're about to completely overhaul the behavior. I wouldn't spend time automating that now, would I? Uh, I if I was going to automate that, I would wait until you know after the overhaul. I would you know focus on uh, areas that are used often, um, high risk areas where you know if things went down people would be affected um, and you'd really want that feedback to be given to you very frequently. I would think about spending my energy wisely because uh, you as a tester, but like your team, you have limited resources, you have limited time. Think carefully about how you're going to spend your time and when it comes to automation, is this the best way I could be spending my time or the best way I could be adding value to my team?